Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is my brand new series that I want to do, which is a series of plan with me videos. So this is August's one, obviously, uh, and I have my brand new planner here. So this is the Clever Fox planner and um, I didn't really think about this video before when I um, started filming it, so I kind of just jumped straight into showing you how it comes. But yeah, it comes in this really nice little box. It has a how it works booklet, so you can kind of have ideas of how you want to use your planner. Uh, the planner itself is wrapped up really nicely, and in the bottom of the box there you've got some stickers that you can use for your spreads. Um, so I was really impressed with how it arrived, um, apart from the fact that the booklet was a little bit battered. Um, so it would make a really good gift for someone as well if you wanted to do that. So yeah, the planner itself is wrapped up really nicely. I have the periwinkle one, um, it's my favourite colour, um, so I was very impressed that they had a version in periwinkle. Um, so yeah, it's this really nice like vegan leather, it comes with a pen holder and it has a like, strap to keep it closed as well. And then inside the planner itself it has three uh, ribbon bookmarks that you can use um, for the three main sections of the planner, um, which I found really, really useful. So the planner itself then, um, so when you open it up it has a front page where you can put down your name, phone and email uh, in case you lose your planner and then it kind of has like a goals focus bit at the very start so it has my gratitude and self awareness so you can say I am grateful for, what I'm passionate about, um, habits to learn, skills to learn and affirmations. Um, I don't really know how much I'm going to use these first sections of the planner itself because I'm not a very goal focused person. Uh, it's also got a vision board that you can use um, and then a goal section for different areas of your life like health, finance, family, etc. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not a very goals focused person, I kind of just live in the moment. Um, so I don't know how much use this section of the planner will get in my life. Then you've got a series of five goals to focus on and a mind map page where you can like detail out how you can meet your goals. So this is the meat of the planner, uh, the bit that I'm most excited about and it is the monthly and weekly spreads. Um, so there's 12 monthly spreads and 52 weekly ones. The monthly ones are all together. I do kind of wish that it was separated um, so that you had like a month and then four weeks and then another month but I know that like the year doesn't necessarily work out that way. Um, so yeah, it's completely blank so you can start it whenever you want. So that's why I'm starting mine in August. Um, and yeah, you, you can just sort of fill it out as you need to. And then for the weekly ones, you've got the days of the week and um, like uh, another page for goals and notes and things. And again, it's all completely blank so that you can just fill it out as and as and when you need. So I wanted to start planning again because I find it really difficult to keep everything in my head basically um, and I use my work calendar on um, my email to plan everything out I have at work so I kind of just needed a physical planner where I could collate all aspects of my life just so I know what's going on more than anything. Um, so yeah, I've, you, on the other side of the page it has like habit trackers and goals and things um which again i don't really know how much use we'll get but yeah i just needed a planner basically to get everything that's in my head onto a page because it's becoming increasingly difficult to remember everything uh, and then yeah at the back of the planner there is uh, a few pages uh, that are just dotted so you can use it as a bit of a bullet journal notebook Yeah, I've tried bullet journaling in the past, but um, it's never really stuck with me. I'm just not a very creative person, so um, I just didn't ever really keep up with it. I find it a lot of ha effort. It's been a long time since I've been able to find a planner that I like really gelled with because they never have what I need on the inside. And I feel like this is the one that has the most of what I kind of want out of a planner. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to give it a go. So uh, on to the actual planning side then. Um, I'm skipping all of the first few pages and jumping straight into the bit that I'm most excited about and that's writing down what's going on in August for me. 
Um, so yeah, I don't really have a lot on in August in my personal life, but I do have a lot going on work-wise. Um, so uh, it's mostly what you'll see in the planner for this month. Um, so yeah, I'm just filling out all the days uh, and the dates of the planner as you can see. Um, the month very nicely starts on a Monday as well, which was uh, fantastic. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I do kind of wish that the calendar, like monthly spread, um, started on a Monday as well, but never mind. Yeah, my first plan with me video, like, I don't really know what I was doing. So uh, I feel like it, as I go on, it will look a lot better. <laughs> um, yeah. I also didn't really think about the fact that I was trying to plan without uh, looking at what I actually have on in the month on like calendars and stuff. So a lot of the planning section of this is me trying to remember what's going on in the month. Um, so we've written down everything that's kind of going on at work that is out of the ordinary. Um, I've booked a week off uh, in August as well. So I've written that down so I can remember when I'm not supposed to be in. Um, and then I'm putting in anything that's to do with my course. Um, I do a libraries apprenticeship, so I have a tutorial in the middle of the month um, and I have an assignment due uh, on the 15th as well, I think. So then I'm kind of just filling in the weekly spreads um, with basically everything that's on the month at a glance page. Um, and yeah, just sort of transferring the information from there onto here as well. Every Thursday I have a study day, um, which is the day that I don't have to go into work and instead I stay home and study from home. I, I mean, that's something I'm never going to forget, but it's just nice to know that that's what I'm doing on that day. And here we have the week that I am off work. Um, I'm, I am in on the Monday, but I've booked the rest of the week off as well. Uh, because the first week of August, um, I am working pretty much every single day. Uh, we have an event on at the weekend of the 6th and the 7th. Um, so <laughs> I'm in both days to do some extra hours. Um, I volunteered to do it, but uh, I'm kind of regretting it now. Uh, it's gonna be a very long week. And that's where I forgot what day of the week we were on and I was a bit paranoid that I'd missed a day out. And then at the very end of August, we kind of go on into September um, at the end of the week. So I've just put down that I'm gonna be at work on that Saturday um, or I'll do it later on in the video. Oh no, there we go. But I'm not 100% sure where I will be working and what hours those will be. So that's why I kind of just left it blank with work instead of my hours and which library I'm gonna be at. So here I think I'm just checking to see I've got everything down that I need to get down. Um, I have added stuff since, which you'll see in my overview in next month's Plumbing Meet video. Um, so now I'm just sort of putting down what's going on in Booktube. I did kind of want to use the planner for like an upload schedule, but it's just not something that I can cope with at the moment. I just kind of upload whenever I can. Um, but yeah, I've written down all the readathons that I'm doing in the month. Um, and then I remembered something that's going on in my personal life as well. So I put that down as well for the Sunday. And yeah, then the first week of August, it's Camp Spoopathon. So I'm just sort of putting down that when it is and uh, what books I'm going to be reading in the month as well. Or in the week, the readathon's only for a week. <laughs> And yeah, I, I have started using the habit tracker, um, but I, I couldn't really think of anything at the time. So I've added them since. And yeah, then it's time for the decorating part. So um, I have a bunch of stickers that I've kind of gathered for, um, from like free gifts in Etsy orders mostly. Uh, and then I decided to use color coded highlighters so that I know which sort of area of my life each 
thing is for, so like the pink is for work, the green was for like anytime I'm off work, purpley pink for uh, my course, and then yellow for personal life, and um, I eventually decided to use blue for booktube. Yeah, I'm not a 100% creative person. I mean, I feel like I am creative, but just not when it comes to coming up with ideas on the spot, really. And because I hadn't really planned this out, um, when I ordered the planner, um, it, event it actually had to be taken back by Amazon because apparently it was in an undeliverable state. So I had to have it re-delivered for the next day. Um, and then when it did come, it was kind of all a bit rushed because I wanted to get all my planning done. I, I filmed this on the 31st of July. So I wanted to get it all done and ready for the first week of August. Um, so that's why it wasn't really planned out very well, but I, I promise I'll be better for next time. <laughs> Yeah, I do quite like the way it looks with the highlighters, even though it's really simple, like it just makes it so much more colourful. Um, and I really wanted to use a sticker, but they're all really big, so I couldn't really decide on one. Because um, I didn't want it to take up too much space, just in case I do decide to end up using uh, a section of the planner that I hadn't really thought about before. Um, this is where I'm writing my TBR for Camp Spoopathon. Um, but I do decide on one sticker eventually. <laughs> Yeah, for Camp Spoop Plan, I plan on reading Gallant, Mina and the Undead and Afterlove um, and I can say that it's going very well at the moment. So there's the sticker that I decided on eventually. I do quite like the shape of it, even though the design on it isn't really relevant to anything. Uh, but I quite like that it just sort of filled in the white space at the end of the uh, readathon section that I've decided on. So then I found my gel pens, um, which I completely forgot I even had, and decided to just try and put in a little doodle and just kind of brighten up the month at a glance spread anyway. Um, and then I blocked out the days um, of the monthly spread that like aren't in August. And then that was kind of it. So here is the month at a glance. I don't know what to call it. You know, the, the final flip through uh, for the month. So obviously I haven't done anything with the first few pages yet, but I, I have since started to use them. So you'll see a little bit on those next month. Uh, so yeah, there's my month at a glance looking very colorful. Um, and I have thought of more things that I can do with it since. And then here's what's going on in each of my weeks at the time of filming. Again, I've remembered things that I'd forgotten about when I was filming this at the start. So yeah, that is my August plan with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Thank you again so much for watching. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks guys. Bye.